Perhaps there should be a school for government. Perhaps there must be a college for governors so that we should teach diplomats what is the job of being a diplomat. We should teach ministers what is the job of a minister. We should teach presidents what is the job of the president. Because today, countries like Malawi, there are riots everywhere. People are complaining that their means of survival, motorcycles are being impounded by the police. When there are bees on the road fighting with the police, no government official, no president, no minister, no member of parliament go to address the protesters. But if it's governance, that is a political issue. Police should not just be given headache to go there and produce tear gas. To protesters. That is not a solution. You are creating more animosity. You are creating more enmity between police and people. And you know what happens? It is your police because they are outnumbered by the citizens. They are the people that will suffer. 2019, Malawi police lost a lot of property when Malawians were demonstrating looking for justice for their stolen vote. Government property through the police got destroyed by citizens. And that is what is happening in Malawi. So, Africa, rise up. Whenever people are complaining in localities, in municipalities, a politician, a minister, a premier, a president, go there and address them. Tell them and promise them that you give them what they want. Don't let police go there and cause more havoc of smoke. Because that is creating more cracks between the people and their government officials. Africa, when are you going to rise up? Respond to the needs of the people. Treat human beings as humans. Don't treat them the way we are treated by slavery, by colonization that we are second class citizens. We are not. The blood that is flowing in me is the very same blood that is flowing in a white person's body. The blood that is flowing in people in localities, in local municipalities, the same blood that is flowing in you in government offices. And if you cannot forget, you were not politicians when you were born. You come from the village. You were like me. Now that you have gone into the government, why are you leaving your humanity in the village and start acting differently? We are very ashamed by the diplomats from seven countries. I will talk about Malawi here. We have over point one point or three point something million Malawians in South Africa. And the list of the diplomats that have been expelled on a word persona in an ingrata, unwanted people. It's a shame that none of them ever thought that he should do what diplom diplomacy demands or entails. None of them. Malawians are dying in South Africa. Malawians don't have papers in South Africa. Malawians are arrested in South Africa. No diplomat intervened with South African government. But they were busy buying liquor, using the red passport to sell in Malawi, make money so quick, and yet they are being paid. We demand to Malawi government. Because we told you that to remove these thieves, you did not take action. We told you to remove the thieves, you did not take action. Today now you come and announce we are going to deal with them. What are you going to do with them? How are you going to deal with them? Because the, the damage has been done. And you are cheating yourself. Telling Malawians lies as we are kids. We are not. You are telling Malawi that the relationship between South Africa and Malawi is cordial and is with mutual respect. Where? You are accused of smuggling uh, uh, their, 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 their prophet. You are accused of smuggling him to your country and you are denying him to come back and face justice. And you say you are in good relations with South Africa. Secondly, today you are diplomats. Block the, 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 the law. You are diplomats turned against their own protocol of Vienna, 1961, and start selling the liquor instead of drinking. Diplomats say you must buy liquor on duty free for consumption in the office, not for sale in your country. But diplomats of Malawi are ashamed. Perhaps.
perhaps this is the time when we should tell you that this thing of appointing people because they are affiliated to a political party must stop because they don't know what to do when they come to embassies. They come with the flag of a political party just to save their greed, to save their party, but not to do the service of diplomats. Malawi he should be ashamed here. Other countries, Lesotho, Swatini, Guinea, Burundi, they can be ashamed, but not the way Malawi can be because the tension between South Africa and Malawi has reached a stage whereby we know the truth. And don't cheat Malawians. The relationship between South Africa and Malawi is at a bad test now. It's cheating. Not sweet at all. Therefore, we urge African governments that whenever there is an appointment of a government, minister, premier, member of parliament, councillor, mayor, they must know their duties. Because all of them today, they are now engaged in two illicit businesses. They forget why they were appointed in that position. They don't even know the norms and values of your job. What they do in there is corruption, enriching themselves, employing their relatives, engaging into a sexual for work. That is what Africans are doing. And you must be ashamed, all Africans, for what you have done. You go to every country today, Namibia is at loggerheads with its people. Because government is not allowed to be part and parcel of the negotiation on the negotiation table for the genocide money or compensation from Germany because of corruption. Now governments have stopped standing for their people because people don't trust their governments because of corruption. Whenever they talk about corruption, they talk about corruption from opposition parties, not inside and within themselves. Many countries in Africa today are engaged, have been engaged, have been indulging into corruption, but nobody is probed as long as you are from the ruling party. This is what is killing this continent. Fellow Africans, we must remove, get out from the mentally, from the slavery mentality, from colonial mentality, and from today. Let us put an African in high esteem. He or she is an African and is a human, just like anyone else. If we are created in the image of God, an African looks like God. If we are created in the image of a human, human being, an African is a human being. He don't need to be treated as subhuman or a second class citizen. By this, it shouldn't come from Europe. It shouldn't start from America or China. It has to start from African governments to respect your people. And it must start from embassies. Diplomats, you are deployed into all nations to represent your country and make sure that the people of your country in that country are taken care of and looked after. The challenge is on Malawi today. Are you going to replace thieves with thieves? Because the thieves have been expelled for eight hours, and it's a shame. Because if it was individuals that were found on the road without papers and they're expelled, it's understood or deported, but not diplomats with red passports. First time to hear that Vienna Convention has been <laughs> violated. First time because of greediness of those that are appointed in such positions. So, Africa should stop appointing people based on their political flags because they don't do what it entails to be a diplomat. They don't perform what it entails to be a diplomat. They bring politics of theft and corruption. Instead of doing the job, they are engaged in two illicit businesses. To South Africa, we say on behalf of Malawi, we are sorry. We Malawians are sorry to you, South Africa. Perhaps this time the government of today will have to think on who to, to, to post into your country. Perhaps, I'm not sure, because it's political. They are even happy now that that one was a bunch of thieves from another party. Now they bring a bunch of things from their party. 
because they won't do anything different. But the Malawians want service. And that's what diplomacy entails and demands. I want to urge, whatever you may do and whatever you may not do, let us stop corruption in Africa. Because that is what has made the African continent to be blanketed in darkness of no development, in a blanket of, of no vision, in a blanket of no future. Corruption. Africa is not poor, it's rich. The problem is that you politicians are involved in illicit deals. You connive with Western countries, Eastern countries, so that they can steal our resources. But today, Africa is load shedding everywhere. No power. Let us find out the quantity of coal we have underground. Let us find out the magnitude of rivers we have in Africa. We are the best. We've got Nairo, we've got Congo, we've got Chile, we've got many, many rivers that can produce energy that can light up the entire earth. But because of corruption, the Inga Dam in DRC is not used or utilized. Because of corruption, the Kabulabasa Dam in Mozambique is not utilized to the fullest volume. Corruption. So you African governments must be ashamed today. And don't hate utopian philosophy. You should hate your own characters of appointing politicians that have got no vision at all. Politicians who are posted there to be ambassadors only to do business of drugs, business of selling alcohol, and using the word. That was signed 1961 at the Vienna Convention, looking at the people with red passports, that they should have some kind of benefits. Instead, those benefits are abused. African governments, are you not ashamed? You must be ashamed. Sorry to South Africa, but to those countries that are involved, you must be ashamed. This moment before...